Israel has notified the United Nations that it's cancelling its agreement with the main aid agency for Palestinian refugees. Millions of Palestinians, including nearly all of Gaza's population, depend on UNRWA. The UN warns cancelling the agreement will worsen the humanitarian catastrophe with dire consequences across the occupied territories. Let's get more on this with Mohammed Val. He's in the Jordanian capital, Amman, because the Israeli government has banned Al Jazeera from reporting in the occupied West Bank and from inside Israel. Mohammed, so tell us, what does this notification mean exactly? Well, it means that Israel is adamant uh, on following its uh, threats with action. It has now made it a final decision and it has notified the UN. The UN has already condemned the move, uh, the intention on the part of the Israelis, and now that intention has become reality. Yes, it will take three months uh, for it to, for the decision to take effect, but uh, it's the question now is whether the UN, by any means, by any effort, will be able during the next three months uh, to be able to convince the Israelis to reverse the decision. Israel has disregarded the UN in many instances throughout the history of its uh, occupation of Palestine. And uh, only recently, Prime Minister Netanyahu at the UN itself uh, described this organization as a joke and as silly, even though we know that Israel was created by a UN decision in 1948. Uh, UNRWA was created only a few months after the creation of Israel, and it has been the lifeline for the Palestinians, millions of Palestinians, not only in the diaspora, not only in the countries where, in which, to which they were dispelled, but inside the uh, occupied territories in Gaza and the West Bank themselves. Right now, I mean, the UN also, the UNRWA itself, has conducted investigations to counter the Israeli allegations that uh, some of the members of UNRWA contributed or participated in the October 7 attacks. It conducted several investigations, including one that was internal and one that was international, conducted by international experts, and both investigations came to the conclusion that that was exoner exonerating those uh, employees from, the, from those accusations. And the UNRWA, even before those investigations, suspended the 12 uh, employees who were pinpointed by Israel uh, until the investigation results came out. That's why several countries, including some in Europe that are very supportive of Israel, have resumed their ties and cooperation with uh, UNRWA. The Palestinian Authority has condemned the move and uh, the Palestinians are very upset with it. Of course, it, it means a lot to the Palestinians, of course, uh, especially those in the West Bank and the Gaza Strip. Right now, Israel isn't leaving any door uh, open for those Palestinians who have been occupied for decades to survive. OK, many thanks for that. Mohammed Val there for us in Amman. <clears throat> Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.